Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the final map here in this best of uh, one, obviously, because I choked. What's up, Harry? How are you feeling? I'm I'm feeling good. Final match of the night, we got Smash versus Function. Now, Smash, <clears throat> yes, they, they played up against Candy King, so of course went through the winner's bracket. Uh, and so what that means is, uh, you know, if, if you remember that game, it was really, really close. Candy Kings, of course, uh, today did get through into, into the elimination bracket after they... Uh, lost to Enraged, but still, Smash were really, really good there. Now, Function, on the other hand, they lost to Enraged 16-14. Um, and, you know, sadly, uh, we didn't really get to see much of them play. Um, so, you know, going into this, we have a really good idea how good Smash are, but when it comes to Function, uh, you know, we just saw them play up against probably what I would consider, you know, to be one of the best teams in the competition while they were on the A game. So, somewhat unknown coming into this. I'm fairly confident, though, that Smash, I think, have the prowess, have the ability and the teamwork to take this. Um, but yeah, no, well, I'm, I'm to, excited either way. You've got to look at it as, you know, Smash and Candy Kings were very close. Um, and Candy Kings did very well against Enraged. So therefore, Smash are going to be better than Function. Generally, you, you'd usually see that. Yeah. But either way, you know, they could show up and... Off we go, as they do have the CT side, good advantage there to start off this map, and they may may need it at least. And we're going to see the uh, the five man armor buy on the CT side as we see a bit of B control come out from Smash. The bomb is heading over towards A, and right now they're just playing for the retake on the A side, just kind of holding that off. And right now a bit of a fake onto B as they oh this is great they're boosting up in defense it's such a good play Zati is going to be holding the outside of middle and he's going to be doing exactly a great job of it two headshots already found in Hendo he's stuck over in beds for me more Jakey he can file out over onto the A site two players remaining though that was an absolute perfect call from functions just as we were saying they weren't good enough they show up brilliantly not even taking a single point of damage and securing three frags on the board so Jakey and Fitzy got to hold this off. Make that just Fitzy over towards Quad. He pulled this off. It would be some disgusting play, but I don't think it's going to be the case. Maybe it is, but no, he's going to get shut down. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, so far. Chicken will get that final kill, and the defuse will come in here. So Function securing that much-needed pistol round on the CT side. Yeah, you know, that's really important as well, especially when you're a CT. You don't want to let the T start off with a three-round advantage. Um... So, you know, getting these, getting these first three rounds for Function, well, I mean, probably first two uh, is what they're going to be hoping for, because we're not going to be seeing any crazy buys coming out from Smash, and they did get that plant, so they will be getting that third round buy. Um, yeah, but Function, look, look at that buy. Lots of Formasis. They're going to rely on range uh, to get them through this. I've got the P90 on Chubbs, so maybe a little bit of aggression from him, but I think uh, ultimately, you know, we're just going to see a really standard kind of range to play here, trying to beat those pistols. And, uh, you know, nothing special there on Smash. They have got that one flash on Hendo. He's going to be looking to use that just to get them out onto the site. Flash goes in. This is it. The push is on. Not very effective as Ares managed to take down Fitzy and Hendo now. Finding one on the cloud as well. So suddenly two versus three. Chubbs with a headshot onto Jakey. And now Bowser does go down. So that's going to be 2-0 to function. Yeah, great start from them at least. And we will see the buy-up coming from Smash. Obviously bomb down in the first round is going to allow that here. Plenty of uh, utility on the CT side, not so much on Smash, they've only got two smokes between the whole team. You know, flashes on everyone as well as a, a decoy, which is obviously going to be pretty instrumental for Hendo there, I can imagine. <laughs> but again, Function not choosing to buy up these, uh, these rifles, sticking or these M4s, so sticking with these Famuses. Chubb's still on that P90 there, over towards B. But yeah, these Famuses are going to give a bit of a downfall for the Function side. Smash will have a bit, a bit of an advantage with those AKs there, so... It's going to be good for them at least as they head over towards middle, leading out on the charge. And Chicken's going to be holding this off solo with the Famous there. So a lot of uh, players to deal with as they work three of them. Actually four now as Jakey's on that boost. Very heavy towards top mid. Klaus is holding for the peak. So Chicken's not going to be allowed to move out of this position and go into the Z. Uh, peak from connector right now. He's just going to be denied by Cloud. He's going to force him back into CT spawn. And now the Apex is going to come out. So they've got to split in through main as well. Jakey actually going to be leading that charge through main. Will get taken down though. Meanwhile, Chicken drops Hendo as well. And finally, the squeaky push comes out. Bowser does some good work with that. So he's going to drop Connor. And now we're into a 4v2 in the favor of function. Once again, looking like they will be able to close out this round fairly effectively. But not if Bowser can do anything about it. Great position. But the Molotov will force him out. And he's going to get shut down by Zati, leaving just Cloud alone again one versus four here function are in the running look at that team flash uh errors accidentally flash himself and that'll be the round regardless to function so a three to oh lead and smash are going to be on the eco so function should be up to four fairly easily yeah you know function looking at like a whole different team to what we saw them play on inferno um 
And you know, I mean, I don't think it's as much as just enraged for playing really well then, like if you remember. I mean, function back then just seemed really disorganized and like they weren't in it. And you know, their aim was failing them. And now when you're looking at it, you know, they're out aiming Smash and Smash did extremely well in the uh, first stage of this competition. So, you know, I don't know what Function have done since they, uh, since they last played, but whatever it is, it is definitely working out for them right now. You sometimes see other teams, you know, are the kryptonite to some better teams. So, yeah. you know, a lot of upset wins because of that. Kryptonite is a, is a big, big uh, thing in counter -Strike. You see a lot of teams not able to beat teams significantly worse than them, but being able to beat teams on paper that should never lose to them. So, either way, it's just an eco coming out from Smash. Not too much I can gather from this. Just pistols all around the board and going to just be shut down one by one here. Hendo caught up towards the back of the site and he's going to be finished off there. So Function, very easy 4-0, to zero, only losing one player in the mix. And look at the money on them. Even if they do start to lose rounds, they're going to have such a great economy to go for these rebuys. Again, CT buys are very expensive, but they should be able to get one more buy out after this. And then maybe the option of force if they lose the consecutive one after that. But Smash, you know, they still haven't got the best buy in the world. Bit of a lack of utility on a couple of the players, but by and large, they've got an all right buy. And AWP up on Bowser again, so... You know, it could be a lot worse here for the T-side team. Oh, but the boost up onto Shroud spot. Zati's going to be up in there again. I think they're probably going to be aware of that, though. I think Fitzy may have heard something because he seems to be focused on that position there over the top of the box. Yeah, surely they've got to know about that one. Currently, we have smashed. They're going to be lining up who towards A. We still have them having a fairly competent mid presence just to make sure for that rush. We've also got uh, that's going to be Connor. He's going to be uh, challenging Bowser in mid. But anyway, the rest of the uh, Smash Brothers fall in line. <laughs> and uh, now the take should be on very, very shortly. They're trying to get this kill onto Exacti. That will open up the site for them. Oh, but he's going to get full white. They will check the angle. I knew it. They had an idea he was there. Fitzy will drop him. And now Chicken, oh sorry, Chubbs on the site is also going to get punished. Now chicken over a mid. Fitzy's going nuts. That's three kills in the bag. And only Connor and Ares are alive for this CT team. They're going to have to save this one. Surely, Harry, they won't be able to go for this. Yeah, no, I do not think they're going to be able to. But, stranger thing have happened. We've got Connor. He's just watching up the truck, trying to play for a few exit frags. Same with uh, Ares in mid. But uh, yeah, the Smash Brothers have been able to take sight extremely well. And uh, that's going to be bomb planted. They should have this round completely in the bag. It'd be literally a miracle if they were to lose. And uh, that's going to be their first round on the board. Fairly Hello. simplistic one to them too. Not losing a single player in the midst as well. So saving yeah. all five of these rifles, which is going to be great for the T-side economy. Yeah, that was much more like the uh, the smash we saw the other day with Fitzy opening up onto that site, going huge, getting those three kills and just securing the site like a like a one man army, you know. But you hope it's not going to take Fitzy to do those kind of entries every time onto a site for them to win rounds. You know, that's one yeah, round in the, in the hands of Fitzy, but you know they need to be able to do that without Fitzy. They need to be able to do that as a team anyway. So you've got to hope that, that wasn't just a complete one off for the team and they can actually come back into this game despite being in a four one deficit. Yeah, definitely. Well, looking at this, we have a really interesting player from Function. They're going to be boosting uh, exactly up into mid, and I don't think anyone's going to be prepared for this. He does get up on there, and he's going to be looking over. He's got the information that no one's there. He finds Bomb. Now they know that Bomb is over towards A, and he's just going to be watching that for one of the uh, Smash players come back around and get it. And it looks like it's going to be Fitzy as well. Probably the most high-impact player. He's going to be hopefully found here by Exactly, but Exactly just doesn't manage to do it. And now he's looking up. Now, up and exactly might get caught out here. No, he does find the kill on a Fitzy now. He's going to jump down, which is a wonderful play there. They get the one-man advantage. They get bombed down. And now they're just going to fall back. They're just going to hold sights because right now they have the man advantage. No pressure. Time is ticking down. Smash need to make some sort of play. And it just isn't, you know, it just isn't emerging. Mm, but Cloud will be setting up a bit of a molly over towards Vent. So forcing Chubbs out of position there. He is caught in that Vent area. So he's going to have to drop into B. Now they have that information, but what surprises me is just the lack of setup there. We obviously saw uh, Bowser over in in B main. They mollied off vents, and what that position, what that molly does is it forces the vents player to drop into checkers. And Bowser, if he was just holding checkers, a bit of more communication, he could have easily killed Chubster, who dropped out of vents. So, you know, that's a very very basic way to force a player out of checkers. Have one player towards B main holding it, force them out of checkers, uh, force them out, of, force them out of vents with a Molotov into checkers, and then get them killed by the last player in checkers. Very simple setup, and despite you know. 
a very obvious nade set up, and he must have called it. They, they didn't decide to hold that down. So, you know, just little team things like that just show that some players may be a bit unprepared. But Bowser, he's very prepared. He's really being the Super Smash Brother of today. Absolutely wrecking them apart. And, oh my god, he actually just won it! One versus four! He just runs onto the side. I didn't even think that was going to be possible. And Function just throw away the round as Bowser picks up four kills. What? How did no, they allow I, I that? I, I do not know what just happened. How, um, I, I wasn't even casting it as a hype thing, because I was like, okay, Bowser will get two kills and then he'll die, because there's no way Function are going to start chasing him with eight seconds left, but they do. But either way, Smash, they just shouldn't have won that round. Incredible play from Bowser. And do you, do you like how he's called Bowser and they're on the team Smash? That's always cool. Yeah, I do like that. Oh dear, I'm just well, upset now for Function. That round was a complete throw. Like, there's no yeah. way they could ever lose that. Well, anyway, going into the seventh round, we're going to be seeing Function. They're on a bit of a quasi buy. They have a few guns here and there, and uh, relying on exactly with that CZ, you know. Uh, they are lacking the armor on him. Kind of a naked buy for him. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication. Ares on uh, 7,000. Don't know why he didn't drop exactly anything, but still. A very weird state there for them to be in. We do, however, all the Smash, they're going to be fully bought, lots of utility, pretty much everything they're going to need to get them into this round now. It doesn't look like they're going to be executing onto A as the smokes do come in. Flash is going out. Cloud's going to open up the door, but can't find that kill onto exactly now. Connor's watching this angle close. He just misses that shot there. And now they know that he's there now. It looks like they're going to be doubling back to B. A little bit of a fake going on. They throw those smokes out onto A. They have players there to keep the pressure on, but it hasn't fooled function as they haven't rotated a player off just yet. However, it is going to be two people here who are a little bit under-equipped to hold off the B bomb site as the Molotov goes in to get out of um, checkers. They find that kill onto Ares, who is playing the boxes. Now it's all going to be out of the chubs here with his deagle. Can he make some magic happen? He finds one. Is he going to be able to find any more? He's just going to fall back. He's holding this angle, waiting for them to cross the site. Does good damage, but does get tagged himself. Only 32 HP now. Rotate coming in. Bowser finds that one onto Chubbs, and it's all down to Connor with the orb. But I think I worked out why Eris didn't drop Zati. Why is that? Because GG, Eris doesn't play with noobs. <laughs> All right, yeah. Mm. No, these bots, not noobs. Oh, come on, I messed that up. That's upsetting. It's not bot. It's not noobs, it's bots. But Connor decided to go for the mid peak with his pistol out instead of his orb. Surprising play. But either way, I'm not sure why he's playing so aggressive in here, knowing they need this orb in the next round to have any chance of doing anything. There's going to be no way, surely, he can save this one. Oh, good potential there, but does miss that shot into Cloud. So, Smash dropping that up for the CT side, and you can see they're going to have no money. But this is interesting, Ares actually does buy up a Famas, he has 9k, so I guess it's fair enough, but a Famas of all guns? It's interesting buy. Could have afforded an M4, could have even got an AWP if someone else bought armor and he dropped it to them. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't drop for the rest of his team, maybe a little bit of a miscommunication here, I'm pretty no, sure Ares no, no. is... No, um... they, they spent plenty of time in spawn, they would have just tried to go for this quasi buy and he just dropped all these CZs for everyone, you can see. Either way, just rush onto the side. Jake is doing good work. He will open it up with two kills. Chubb's going to get taken out over from car area. And now Chicken and Ares are left to retake. And I really think Ares should just save this. Buy up next round. That would be a really good decision. But again, I just don't agree with these, these save positions. At this point, the yeah. economy of Smash is not going to be impacted enough by one kill or one or two kills from Ares. And he needs to save this rifle to have any chance. So he needs to be playing a more passive save role. He doesn't want to be challenging this at all. He literally just wants to do one of those saves where you where you actually save it and you don't come into any contact. Smash aren't going to be chasing this. And he just needs to properly save instead of actually going for a half hour save, sending a CT spawn and knowing that there's a very likely chance that he's going to get taken down here. And I really just don't agree with that position. He should just be going for the full save right now. Their economy is too precious to risk that. Of course, Chicken really doesn't have much to lose, so why not go for it? But Obviously, look at the draw. Ares gets away with that one over in CT Swarm. It's, a, it's just a position that you can get punished for. Why not save on B? Yeah, no, I do agree there. I mean, I guess maybe the mentality that now that he's in CT Spawn, he shouldn't be leaving in case he gets shot in the back from car. He left it a little bit too late on once he'd already kind of nestled in there, but he should have just ran straight to B. I do agree with you there. Well, anyway, going into the ninth round now. We are going to be seeing a full buy from both teams. P90 on Chubbs and an AWP on Connor. Very aggressive mid-take here from Smash as they uh, have Fitzy.
Going out into vents, having some contact with Chicken. Great nade there, taking him down to 6 HP and Cloud finding that kill on Connor. That's going to be the orb down for Function. Suddenly they've lost all control of mid and then it just leaves Smash here to collapse on the B. Chubbs goes down and now it's all going to be down to Ares here to hold that site off while the rotate comes in. Smokes smoking off any sort of push from uh, CT. Now, do they know that he's there? I'm not sure they do. Now they do, Molotov he's just shot out. Clear him out. Oh, they definitely know he's there. That Molotov and that nade is going to finish him off. No way he can still be there, though. Bowser's going to be able to get away, and look at this, Smash is just going to be rotating over towards A, which is a really good play for them, knowing that both these function players are going to be over towards B, and oh, it's a fake, this is interesting. They're faking the rotation, and it seems like Function have bought it. Now Function wanting to load all their eggs into one basket, rotating both players over, not a terrible idea, they can play for the retake on B, if it does end up being B, and then play for the trades if it ends up being A. And, uh, you know, here they are. They're using up their utility on oh, no, A. That's something I don't agree with. They haven't had any sign that Smash are here, and they're throwing flashes, where, which, you know, that was the only flash they had. That could have made the difference between this B plant being, you know, going the way of Smash or going the way of Function. And now they've realized, you know, the jig is up, and hopefully the rotate should be coming in. But, you know, at this point, they're so far away, and they both have kits, but, you know, they've used up their utility on A for seemingly no reason. And two versus three with Chicken on 4 HP, it's just not a situation you want to be in. They have got that nade on Cloud as well, and if that goes into Upper, which it looks like it's going to, that's going to be Chicken somehow surviving on 1 HP. Oh my god. Chicken onto Hendo, but Bowser dropping exactly 1 <laughs> HP, and then headshot by Cloud on a Chicken. He had 1 HP, but he could have had a few hundred, and he still would have gone down. Good shots there from Cloud to close out that round, taking it 4-5. Smash with a one-round advantage. Looking to keep this as uh, the game continues. So I'm just putting in chat, Hugo, stop BMing me. I thought we were friends. I think it's... I, I don't know who MK Bloomer is, though. Who saved in CT the other round? Um, Ares. Is that oh, no, Ares. Ares. Oh, it must have been Ares. I'm sorry. I'm just questioning... It's just a questionable save. Why are you watching the stream if you're playing? <laughs> oh, but the counter boost is coming up again. Chicken is going to be boosting a player up onto there, and we can see Zati. He's going to be in a great position. Fitz is going to just be holding it off, though. So as soon as he goes to the peak... He's going to get a nice clean shaven head. So much damage either way. It's actually down to 1 HP now and only just escaping that nade to follow up. Smash have got to be triggered that they let that one away. Yep, chicken being roasted in mid. Much like Ares being roasted rare, on though. stream. <laughs> We're going to be seeing a lot of damage done. So the function players smash here, just spreading out. They're just taking map control. Looks like they can be playing for A's. Bomb does stay over towards there, and they have still got two players. That's going to be Bowser and Fitzy watching that back inside of main. But uh, yeah, nades, smokes, flashes all coming out to the site now. It looks like the push is on. But Bomb's doubling back towards B. And uh, now it's going to be function. They're going to fall for the fake. They've rotated almost all their players over. It's one and a chicken, and he does get taken down by Fitzy. Cloud being dropped in mid, but still... The very low impact frag, ultimately, seeing as the bomb goes down on B. Connor gonna be coming in from upper though. He's got a lot to do. Hendo's still alive on the site, but he's gonna be the only one really in position of the bomb. The bomb is fine for main though, so it's not gonna be too much of an issue. Smash have a pretty good hold on this one. At this point, they shouldn't be going for his attitude. He should just be getting out of there. As his teammate falls beside him. He will be trying to do so. Oh, I think they're just going to catch where he is, so luckily not getting wallbanged there. But yeah, there's really no chance of him surviving. The bomb's going to get him from this range. He's only having one HP and peeking out. He will finally shut down Hendo. Actually, he should be able to get away with this one if he hurries up, because I don't think he realises the bomb is going to kill him unless he gets literally to the other side of the map. He should be okay past the car, though. Terrorists win. There you go. 4-6. Smash running six rounds in a row. Function starting to kind of dip back into how they were playing the other day and I'm hoping we don't see a repeat of the same scoreline of 14-16 because Function started this game off so strong and we were saying you know maybe we misjudged them but now it's seeming like they're slipping back into old habits they're not getting the trades they're doing really questionable decisions and it's leading this uh you know it's leading them downhill a little bit smash on the other hand coming back out in top form I just want to see Function start to you know replay how they were at the end it does seem like they're being maybe tilted a little bit by the sixth round in a row and who can blame them but, uh, you know, I just think they need to set that to one side. They need to start to rethink their strategies. Maybe play with a little bit more aggression to uh, spot out the information. Their boosts into mid have been good, but it just seems like they haven't been getting the info as to where Smash are playing, and they're falling for these fakes as a result. I'd like to see uh, a little bit of aggression over on B side. Uh, I don't know if that's something you'd agree with, but it does seem like, you know, they Smash, they go quite easy on it. They keep players in mid, 
but they don't actually, you know, have a player over towards B most of the time, or at least they do, you know, early on in the round, but still, one player pushing up through B could gain them so much valuable information Ooh. and uh, help lock in these rounds. Oh, chicken goes down. And hey, James. Uh, hey, James. Hey, Mark. It's Mark. It's Hawk in chat. I'm not BMing you. You got that sick clutch. Although I am slightly BMing you. With that I mean, fake I'm, I'm flash oh, with the fake flash that he fell for at the beginning, Hawk on Dust Two. <laughs> That's a BM worthy moment. But either way, seven to four is going to be the score for Smash here. The Molotov does go up from the CT, so no early boost coming out from Smash, and we're just going to see a normal setup once again. Only one player towards mid. And I'm really surprised that Smash really aren't taking any mid control here on this T side. To be fair, they have picked up the last seven rounds in a row, but. Out of all those seven rounds, they haven't gone for really heavy mid any of those rounds, apart from in really, really late scenarios, you know, catching rotates and stuff. But they haven't just gone for, you know, a heavy bid, uh, moost, a moost bid, boost mid, and um, just, you know, a wall of smoke dropping at the vents or anything. They've gone for very default setups and not, not very uh, mid heavy. Have you plays? Yeah, well, I mean, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. That's yeah. the mentality right now. Fitzy finds one or two exactly as they get under the side. That Molotov's going to push Connor out. Connor gets dropped. Chicken does find that return kill under Fitzy, putting into a three versus four. Though. Chicken here with that M4 on highway. Seven HP does get taken out by Jakey in mid, and now Ares here with a chance for the return, but he does get tacked down low, and it's going to be really, really close here. Can he tag him through the box? That Molotov's mm. just going to miss. Ares is going to find Jakey two versus three here. Ares has that AWP still, and now they're going to be pushing up Bowser, though, in a key location to pick up these kills as they do peek from. Kai just takes the AWP out at the wrong time. That nade does phenomenal damage. 24 HP on him, Ares. And it is looking like they might be best if they save this one. They don't have... Sorry, they do have a kit on Chubbs. And a good amount of utility that isn't being used. They have three flashes right now. And I haven't even seen one get taken out. Hendo finds those two on Ares and Chubbs. And that's going to be the eighth round now for Fun uh, Sorry, for Smash. Function uh, trailing behind now on four. Haven't won a round in eight rounds. <laughs> Very good play there to smash though. Folks have got to be tilted at this point. Losing eight rounds on the CT side of cash has got to upset you quite a lot. And they're so tilted they're going for the full mid rush. You can see, so we'll be peeking it with the AWP. Backing off finally, but the flash is going to take advantage of him. Chubbs and uh, going to be leading that charge. Connor will find the kill though, and Cloud going to be taking that return kill on. <laughs> mid boost and failing a little bit there, but um, either way, Smash going to be taking control of the B side. And just as you say you want more B control, Harry, it, it does come out. Chicken, maybe a chance to come back into this round. He's going to drop Hendo, but they've got to hurry up and get on this. Of course, they don't have a kit to work with, so they've got to be pretty fast on this retaking. So far, it's going quite well for them. Fitzy going to be dropping Ares. Now, Jakey and Fitz have to come back from this two versus four. They will start doing it very well. Jakey's going to drop Zati, and we're into a 2v2 already. And this Molotov's going to be the death of them, forcing Chicken into the corner. And the headshot will finish off the round for Jakey. And Mark, every time we play matchmaking, we go on Dust 2 and we lose because Dust 2 is full of spinbutters. Four nine here as we go into the fourteenth round, nearing the half time. Looking like it could be a repeater. Yes, though this this map being slightly CT sided, I would expect Function to be doing a lot better now. And like I've said, it, that I just need you know I just need that little bit of B aggression. And look, it looks like now maybe Chubbs might follow through with my wishes, although saying that he just walked into a corner, so I guess not. Anyway, looking at this, we have got three of the Smash players over towards A, as they did find that kill. No rotate coming in yet, though. No rest for the Wicked Chicken. Finding that kill on a cloud, that's going to equalize things, taking it into 4-4. Four, four. And uh, now the push from Smash has slowed down dramatically. Huge change of pace here. Smokes out in the mid, as Jakey does get taken down by Chicken. They're out on the site, though, and this could spell disaster here. But Function, exactly. Gets that kill on the Bowser, taking it. Finds a second onto Fitzy. Hendo, though, with that return kill, taking down exactly, and now the retake is on. He does get that bomb. Bomb's going to be going down, but if he can't get it down fast enough, he could be open here for a little bit of a push. But it's going to be some good timing. Nice double nade coming out from Function. He's going to put him down to 17 HP, spraying through the smoke. It's all going to be the luck of the draw here if he survives this one. Still sitting in the smoke. Very clever play. They have no idea, but he's got to watch out because they are pushing round into the site from Quad, and he won't be able to find anything there as Ares spots him out through the edge of the smoke and that'll be the defuse coming in so finally function on the second last round of the half they take one but smash they're not gonna have to eco they just took eight in a, or sorry nine in a row yeah no I couldn't agree more I mean you can't help but feel like uh, you know that one round is just a mere dent in the armor of this behemoth and as things are right now they're gonna need to win this next round in order to even stand a chance of coming through in the second half Oh, 
Oh, but the peak, Hendo, the jumping also just lands it and hits that one onto Ares to open up the round. Smash are going to come back into this very, very fiery. Of course, they don't have the potential to reset function even if they win this round. We are going into the last of the half, and they're going to be on eco anyway. Only pistols in the next round after this, surprisingly. Obviously, that's because it's a pistol round. And Chicken caught out towards mid. Going to be finding the challenge with Jakey. Jakey's going to get the headshot, though. Nothing going function's way right now. We might finally see some aggression coming out from Chubbs here into B main, but you know, too little, too late is he does manage to push up and now he's gonna be falling back. So never mind, once again, they're just lacking this aggression. They go so aggressive in mid and A, and then they just completely fall through on B, and it definitely feels like, you know, like B they, you know, we've hardly even seen them go B, and at this point it just feels like Chubb sits there and he waits till he has to rotate and then rotates. They're not counter stratting what Smash are doing at all, because Smash have literally smashed A almost every single time. Right now, though, Clonacy Cloud is going to go up and over. Connor does find him. Can he turn around to find one of the Fitzy? No, he's not going to. Fitzy drops him. And now it's Chubbs, like I'm saying, rotating him from B in a one versus three situation here as Bomb is being planted by Hendo on site. Chubbs is caught between a rock and a hard place already, and of course there's no potential to save here. He has to go for this, secures the first, fake flash goes out, that would only trick Hawk, not these smash players. He has to come into the site now. Two more to deal with and no pistol to switch to if he runs out of ammo. Finds a lot of damage onto both, but at the end of the day, smash will prevail. 10 to 5 is going to be the half. Yeah, 10-5 in favour of Smash. I see Smash taking this in the second half. I predict, you know, they're going to win the pistol round. It's going to go to 13-5. Um, and then I think they're just going to close the game out 16-5. Uh, Could very well be the I, case. I mean, it's a shame I do not see Function coming back in the second half of this. They played so well in those first four rounds. I thought they stood a really good chance of winning. And then it all just kind of fell off towards the end and Smash died kind of being in their element a lot more. Fitzy opening up on, on those sites. Jakey with the mid plays. I, I just don't see how, you know, functioning, they've been having a real hard trouble of counter-straying what Smash were doing, and on, on the T side, I feel, I don't think they're going to have, you know, the, the strategic capability. They definitely have the aim and the skill, I just don't think they have the strategy in order to pull this through. It's looking like it's going to be an A push, though, as we do see them all heading in towards it. They're probably going to boost two players mid and then do a split A, that is looking like what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, it's going to be onto Jakey and Hendo in order to stop this, and then we have Bowser and Fitzy over here on A. Things are sitting pretty nice and quiet, probably until about 1 minute 30 where you're going to see the push take place. Some mid control already gathered. This is what I like to see. We didn't see it at all from Smash, although it did work out for them regardless. And oh, Fitzy! He's going to be kicking off the round. Nice double kill to kick things off. Finding two headshots over towards mid. Oh, uh, over towards Squeaky. Hendo over, the, over towards mid. Lands another two headshots. So this is the land of the doubles. And Chubbs will land two of his own. So we're back down to a one versus three. And Crab will finish it off just with a single kill to secure smash that pistol. And I think that's pretty much safe to say is GG at this point. There's no way Function can go back into this, surely. They're going to have to get some phenomenal rounds. Because Smash, they're going to have such an advantage after these anti-ecos. Connor going to be the only one without uh, a pistol and armor here. He's going to be flashing into A main or out of A main. So Function can push out a squeaky here and they will be committing to this. Oh, going out. Bowser holding it off fairly well. He's going to be getting a one, play one kill but going down instantly to that Glock. How do they lose to Glocks? And Cloud, meanwhile, taking out the lurk over on B and they will be rotating over towards the A site here. Good hold though so far from Function. They have good potential despite you know Connor not having any armor to work with. His teammates will fall around him and Zati is going to be the last one alive. Sitting towards the back of the quad. They're going to be coming in very, very fast. Secures the first one. Jakey will go down. He could actually do this, but Cloud is not going to allow him. Denial coming in, and Cloud going to pick up that kill. Securing Smash, a 12-5 to scoreline. Right, so, you know, while the score reigns in at 5-12, I just want to ask your opinion. Who would you say has been the best player of the day, in your opinion? And who would you say has been the worst player of the day? Of the day? Um, so, yeah. any matches? Any match. Hmm. I'm probably going to go with an enraged player. I'm not fanboying. I'm just probably going to go with an enraged player. Uh, I'm going to go with Ryback. Yeah, for me, it's probably Ryback or um, Wong. Well, I, I feel like Wong yeah. did amazing, actually, in that game. And worst player... Like, that's that's easy. I think we both share the worst player. What, Hawk? Um, yeah, Hawk, definitely. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was just a setup um, for the worst fight, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I love you really. So, uh, much. Yeah, no, I actually quite like Hawk. I thought he was good. Uh, anyway, we're gonna be seeing now. Smash taking a go in for the retake here. Two versus three. Not impossible. They do check this corner and just a double execution. Put down on their knees and shot in the back of their head. That's gonna be. Another round now for Smash, 5 13. They get the plant, but they don't get the round. That seems to be a, a recurring theme at the minute for uh, Function. Now, they should be able to buy up really well this round. We should be seeing a, you know, an AWP in play on Connor, I'd expect. That, there, that, there's that. And uh, it's interesting now to see if Smash going to be picking one up. Doesn't look like they're going to. So, uh, actually, we're going to be seeing Bowser, who's only got a Deagle uh, this round. I don't oh, think it's going to matter too much, to be fair. Smash absolutely tearing apart Function. And look, Smash, you know, they have 3k on one of the players. Like an easy drop for Bowser. I just think like he's chosen to go for the Deagle. Now, you know, when you have an 8-round lead, the, the important thing is, it's obvious, you know, Smash, they're, they're actually playing this game. They're enjoying themselves. They're having fun. And it just seems like Function, I know, it seems like they're a little bit tilted since their early stage success. Getting those initial four rounds uh, in the first half and now falling off. Hmm. We are going to see the Mickey come out. Much required here. Jakey holding this off, but obviously not getting a whole lot of damage done. The smoke, all, all, the wall smoke is down here, so he's not going to be able to cover too much from it, and he will go down instantly to the chicken. So that's the early frag coming up from Function Smash. Going to give away that one, and now we're into a four versus three as Aries. He makes work, swift work over on the uh, B site here. Hendo holding off alone. The Tech 9's got so much to deal with, and not a lot of potential here as Bowser has to support him from upper. Does a bit of damage. Could go for the double spray, but will only land a bit of damage onto one. Fitzy coming in from B May. No, and. Uh, Basically screwed because there is a player behind him, but Chicken doesn't seem to realise where he is. We finally push out and take him down on the ramp. Yeah, that's 16. Function get their first round on the board. Hopefully not their last. They could definitely be drawing this in a little bit closer. Now we're going to be seeing Smash. They're going to be onto an eco this round. We have a little bit of armor on Cloud, and um, yeah, they have a little bit of potential to make things happen with that flash on Hendo, as we saw the other day, uh, flashing into a main. Yeah, Mark, you can vote for Harry. And Mark, let's play a matchmaking game after this. If you drop 50 kills, I'll give you my knife. Oh, but look at this aggression from Jakey. This is interesting. He's going to be spotted out, though. Still hasn't landed too much of a shot. Finally, getting the headshot. RNG coming into play there, and Cloud has also got to secure one. Cloud taking two as well, so look at this. Three players alive for Smash, and finally the B push is going to come underway from Chicken and Connor. They need to hurry up with this so we get the bomb over towards the site. Three rifles have been gathered, and there's still armor on two of these players. I, I still think the function has to have a chance to bring this back the hp is too low on cloud and jakey to really be of any use and fitzy doesn't have any armor to work with yeah i mean function they're pushing both their players out here into ct a huge error on their part and now they just do it he's there to the oh left and they God. take him down and that's that that's the round that was so easy they should have had that they must feel so Terrible about what just happened, pushing both their players into CT, expecting them to be coming around from A, and they just, you know, they flanked around and they shot them in the back, both of them. That was a huge tactical error once again on Function's part, and I feel like, you know, if, if they weren't tilted before, they're certainly going to be tilted now. I'm tilted. Mark, I'm I mean, expecting I, yeah, I'm four tilted. Comp, like, and I don't mean across imagine, three maps. Imagine, uh, imagine the Titanic, right? And then rotate it 90 degrees. That's me. But it's already rotating 90 degrees. Do you mean put it flat? Yep. <laughs> That's not tilted at all. Jakey, start off the round over onto middle. Gonna be picking off chicken there through the smoke. So a good start for Smash, as if they don't need it anyway. Fitzy gonna be holding off towards mid and popping a molly into a uh, fence there. So no one's gonna be allowed to drop into there. Nice nade to follow up. Hill hits Atty right in the face and Connor going to be pushed up very aggressive towards middle as well. So he's going to be to jump around this corner with the Tech 9. Fitzy landing another shot. Will hit the third as well. Oh, that's Bowser, sorry, supporting him from over towards the A site. And Chubbs and Ares are going to be the last two alive. Left to clutch this. Two versus five. Go TV lag, of course. And uh, Cloud's going to get that flank into Ares. Chubbs will get the refrag though, so we're back into a 1v4. But he's going to have to get the ace to secure this round. I don't think it's meant to be. Nice break and drop, but Fitzy will finish it off. And smash, go on match point.
Chubs on 10 frags. What are you talking about? But the B rush is going to come into play. Jakey will drop one over towards B main pistol out already. He's just going to be holding it down. Very, very thorough work here. Zati, nice one to get that refrag. But Hendo, he's dropping into upper and doing some work as well. And this is just going to be the slaughter coming into play. Zati and Chubbs last two alive. Zati, one D, he's bringing it back into the game. Another molly is going to force him out towards the back of the site. But again, really take potential. Two and, you know, yeah, those guns they picked up definitely going to come in handy here. This isn't impossible for function. I mean, their angles that they're watching now aren't bad either, but Fitzy just finds that shot. It's one of the Chubbs versus Fitzy here. It is the most intense one versus one. Could this be the end of the final match of the night? Fitzy jumps up of the box and he just <laughs> manages to pull that off. And that's going to be the game going the way of Smash. 16-6. Uh, you know... It was, it was great having function here. Sadly, they will be going home. And then we're going to be seeing uh, Smash. They're going to go through into the elimination bracket tomorrow.